There he is. Jesus, his pants are too tight. Wow, look at Lemmy's junk. <laughs> <laughs> Lemmy. Thank you. Welcome to the little poker room. What's there up, Lemmy? It's me. You, <laughs> wait, why don't we uh, get a headset on him? Because, yeah. You want a headset? Or no, you want he's it? got his hat on. You don't need no headset. Lemmy knows my technique. you got to get up on that thing. That's all. Yeah, we want to hear every word, uh, Lemmy. Okay, <laughs> man. You got it? <laughs> wait, a little back. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you want your Jack and Coke before the interview? Yeah, I want it during the interview and after the interview, too. Uh, before, during, and after, right? I mm. thought you drank Maker's Mark. That, too. That, too? But Jack's okay? Jack's easier available, you know. Yeah, Jack is a little easier to get. There mm -hmm. you go. Yeah, uh, who makes Lemmy's drinks? Do you is have a guy one of your guys? Bartenders. But <laughs> I was wondering if it's one of your guys, because one of our guys made it, and they made it too weak. You know, we'll have them flogged or something. Yeah, 50 lashes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, you won a Grammy. I didn't know that. Until Grammy about Award 30 winner. seconds ago. Yeah, I know. I'm still trying to get to terms with myself. How, uh, <laughs> are, you, are you doodling? What are you doing over there? Let him doodle. What's he going to do with you? Ah. What are you? Are you drawing something nice? No, I'm not drawing anything, really. Just a load of rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> doodling. <laughs> That's okay. You'll have a lemmy doodle by the time we're, uh, All right, yeah, can you sign the lemmy here? doodle? We'll, we'll, we'll put it up on eBay and we'll see how much money we can get for it. About five cents. <laughs> yeah, we'll give it a try. <laughs> Let well, me have to make it worth putting it up there. Lemmy, are you here for the uh, the the poker tour, or you just uh, came by to say hi to us? And what are you doing? I'm here to talk to you. Yeah. You know, you're so fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we don't want to be here either. Trust me. No, I know. <laughs> so, oh, come on. <laughs> we can't wait for this broadcast to be over so we can enjoy LA. Uh, now your 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 bartender is asking you something. I know he's trying to distract me. We have uh, info over here. Motorhead live at. Uh, Wiltern Theater? Is that yeah, where it is? April Fool's Day. April 1st, April Fool's Day. Yeah, nobody will show up probably. You know. uh, and the joke's on Lemmy. <laughs> yeah. And, and the rest of the guys. I notice you have a lot of, uh, what is that, German attire on there? Some no, that's old, Motorhead. That's my, I know, Motorhead, but it looks like no, a it's very, it. it's a very... Um, guy in East Germany makes them. Does he? Yeah, and you got the Iron Cross thing there. That's, second, that's First World War. Yeah. Very nice. Just uh, I like your attire and the hat and everything. Kind of looked like a, almost a Civil War uh, motif yeah, you had going the there. Seventeenth Lancers up here. And what is that? An English regiment. Oh, see, I don't know nothing about that. There you go. You see, I'm just kind of I know Gosh. a little bit about the American stuff there. Excuse yeah. me, Lemmy. Hi, my name's Kenny. That's Excuse Kenny. I, I've been in a coma for a few years, and these guys put me on the show as a pity. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just sorry. Could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Like what? I don't know, a little biography about yourself. Like, you know, I hear, I guess you're in the music because I hear him mention Grammys. Lemmy from Motorhead. Motorhead, bro. Yeah. Kenny. And he did uh, Triple H's walk-on music for the WWE. That's true. Really? Yeah. I'm just fascinated by your tight pants. Did you get those, like, on Melrose <laughs> or something? No, I haven't made. You do? Oh, nice. He was commenting on how big your package was when you were walking up. Yeah, when you walked right? up, Kenny was like, wow, look at Lemmy's junk. Yeah. I figured somebody would look. It was Kenny. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. yeah. But, no, you got a nice look there with the boots. Thank you. Basic black. That's good. Black's good. You don't have to wash it, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're right, you're right. So is there anything else, like, you know, because seriously, all kidding aside, I've been in a coma for a few years. So. He did. He just came out of it. Uh, yeah, and they had me on the show as a pity. So I was just wondering yeah. if you could just tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm, I'm in a bank called Motorhead. I'm 59 years old. We've just got a Grammy. We've had a few hits. We've had 21 albums out. That's 21. Got an American tour coming up. He's had a hell of a career. 59. And it continues, yeah. 30 year years career. Old. Still drinking like, like you're a teenager, right, Lemmy? Well, I'm a teenager in here. And the, right. the brain, you're a teenager still? That keeps, uh, keeps you young, right? The Jack? I don't know. I think it sort of, you know, preserves you. Like, it tickles you a little? Yeah. <laughs> in more ways than 32, yeah. Got it, got it. Now, you're, uh, I heard from our own Steve C that you're writing a lot these days. Who, who are you writing for? Um, well, I'm doing a solo album mostly right now. Yeah. And then I've written a few songs for Ozzy, you know, in the past. Who do you have backing you up? Ozzy right? Osbourne? Oh. Mm -hmm. Now, you remember him before you went into your... Um... Yeah, from Black Sabbath. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. what I remember back in the day. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're writing with Ozzy. I was, yeah. Wrote, wrote a little with Ozzy. And now Solo, who, who you got back in your, back in your... Um, Dave Grohl. Yeah, there two go. tracks with the Reverend Horton Heat. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Two tracks with The Damned. Two tracks with the band from Berlin called Skew Siskin. Good friends of mine. Yeah. How was it writing with Ozzy? 
Oh, it was that easy, really. You just you would do the basic track and and go, eh, hey, 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 where do you want the vocals to be? And send it to me, you know, and I'd sit back and write the vocals and send them back to him. It's dead simple, you know. So you weren't in the same room writing? No. Because that would be, you know, you want to talk about reality TV, that would have been interesting to watch. <laughs> yeah, it would be even more interesting to, to try and do, I suppose. Yeah. Ozzy's cool, you know, Ozzy's smart enough, you know. He ain't no dummy, you know. They, they just make him look that way on TV, you know. I, I agree with you on that. It's yeah. all in the editing of those shows. Right, man. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you can cut anything into anything and make it seem like anything else, you know. It's just not... He does come across pretty stupid, and he's uh, he's accepting the you know the paycheck. So it's now it's it's, it's his persona on TV now, isn't it? You know, yeah. which is a shame, yeah. really, because he's. You watch he's any really TV, Lemmy? What do you like? No. You don't watch any? I don't watch. The no. Other ones. Is your life just all about rocking, all about music and drinking? I no, can't imagine. Women too. Women too. Well, that's all part of the whole rock attitude. That's you know. true, but you didn't actually mention it, so I thought no. I'd just get it in <laughs> okay. yeah, He wants, he wants it, uh, it, people to know that he's banging women, Anthony. I just can't. You can never picture Lemmy bored at home going, maybe I'll play some video games <laughs> or something. You know, it, it, it's all about just the rocking and the babes and the drinking. Well, it's fun, you know. Yeah. Well, well what, do you, what do you do? I recommend I, guess, it. I wouldn't doubt it. What, it sounds like a lot of fun. What do you do in your downtime when you're not doing the music? I chase women mostly. <laughs> okay, so on, on the road, you have less time to chase them. See, when you're off the road, you get to catch them sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Our, our own Steve says um, he knows a lot about you, that uh, you're, you're, into, uh, you're into black chicks more than white girls. Yeah. Yeah? Like really? What's the difference that makes them more appealing to you? They're darker. The darker darkest. the meat, the sweeter the treat. That's what Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> you're not exclusive, though. You'll go, you know, there's a hot... Uh, what do we got there? God knows. What are you giving uh, Fat black Lemmy? women. Lemmy. <laughs> Steve, what are you giving Lemmy? Yoshi just handed me. Well, hey. your, uh, sorry. Yoshi, you have Yoshi. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. Yoshi just handed me don't like fat two boxes men. of... I don't like fat uh, girls. Sorry. No, he doesn't like fat chicks. Oh, draw black the girl line that. Yeah. Uh, big black black girls get nasty too, and fatty girls four, and it's all black girl Take porn. Take your fat black girl yeah, porn it's, away. It's They're fat. Huge fat girls. You know. He wants like, he, he wants slender nice black slender girls. ones. I like them oh. wiry, so they can fight back. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But that's your fetish. You like the black girls? It's not a fetish. Well, yeah, I guess preference. it's not a fetish. It's just a yeah, preference. A preference, yeah. I should say. Sure. Like that. But like I said, you go with the white girls too, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Japanese. Take anything. I don't care. That's it. It's high. I just like it as long as they're female. And they're still coming backstage at the shows and, uh, oh, yeah. you know, the groupies. Yeah, you ever I, been with a Filipino girl? I don't girl? like the word groupies. Yeah, no? Have, yeah. Really? Yeah. Because I was with a Filipino girl last night. Yeah. But by the end of the night, she wasn't Filipino. She was full of penis. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Jesus, is that awful. Your sense of humor is still in a coma, Kenny. Yeah. Oh, Look, you, you sent you sent Lemmy back to doodling. Uh, <laughs> we, we were doing fine. We were having a little conversation yeah, here. Yeah, I'm doing sharp, sharp edges now. Yeah, he, was, he was coming out of his shell a little bit, and look, now what he's shell? back doodling. Yeah, everything was nice and rounded before, and now they're all, all sharp edged and, and jagged. Yeah, like, what have you done? Psychologists could tell us what that's all about. So you ruined it now. Like, or psychiatrists. War. I actually have war. a Lemmy moment. I yeah. have a Lemmy moment from back in, uh, had to be 19, maybe 91, 92. Oh, the uh, dark New, ages. New York City. Uh, I was opening for you. I was uh, uh, an uh, opening act in uh, one of these clubs in, in New York City. And um, I was singing in a, in a band back then. And uh, my guitar player. And you were drinking Maker's Mark backstage for a while before the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we got on stage, he couldn't play fucking guitar. You had gotten him so drunk. You're kidding. He was just a catastrophe, stumbling. Well, I mean, nobody forced it down his throat. No, no, of course not. He was so thrilled to be drinking with you uh, that he forgot maybe he can't keep pace with you because you can really put it away. That should, he was incapable of you playing. You never guitar. forget what you're doing, you know. Yeah, you know, so it's, it's like playing with the pros. You know, you can't sit there and do shot for shot with Lemmy. Uh, well, you can not if you learn how to do it, right? You've got to start you young, I guess. Put the years in, you yeah. know. Well, he thought he was, you know, a big man. He's doing it. and uh, Well, he was still a big man. It's just that he lying down a lot. He, you could, know? he was lying down <laughs> after that. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, very, it was one, a very memorable moment, There's though. There have been a few, a few people like that, yeah. Yeah, can't quite keep up. It's funny. Uh, uh, there's an English band called Girl School, or all, all girl band, right? Mm-hmm. And they are fierce drinkers, man. I mean, they, they, they're up there with us, you know. 
And it's funny to see the guys they pull at shows try and drink them under the table because the guys are always this macho man and uh -huh. stuff, you know. Oh, would you like a drink, baby? And Kim goes, yeah, you know. And, boom, you know, and then they probably think they're going to get the lucky with these girls. under the table, you know, he couldn't get laid if she let him, you know. <laughs> yeah, they probably think they're going to get lucky back. with him and stuff. Yeah, really, flat on his back. Drinking uh, shot for shot with him. I, that's, that's pretty hot, though. Girl band, all drunk. Deadly. Ice. <laughs> Deadly. <laughs> Cold. You know what I mean? Back to doodling, let me. No? No, stop, I'm no. waiting for him to make something out of that, and I'm gonna. I, I, I would hope you'd sign it. Maybe we can. Uh, uh, yeah. What are make you? A couple of bucks. We what are you drawing well. there? It's a. It's a, a surprise. Yeah. It looks like an instrument no. from India or a UFO. No. It looks like some kind of um, <laughs> something that he's going to use to impale us. Are those teeth? It's a very um, exotic junction box. Joining this and this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what uh, that is. Yeah, why don't we go to the phone? No, that's what they call them doodles. Uh, you know? It's a doodle. All right. We got a lot of fans a lot checking of, in. A lot of fans. You let's, do? Yeah, let's say hi to Hindu. He's calling all the way from Iowa, Lemmy. Iowa. Oh, wait, uh, you're going to have to throw those sort of on or, or to the side of your ear there. Hindu, what do you got for Lemmy, man? Yeah, Lemmy. Hello. Hey, you got me? Yeah. How you doing? You on there, bro? Yeah, I am. Hey, man, uh, I've been having an argument with uh, a buddy of mine for just, like, over 10 years. And, and uh, <laughs> I saw you on Tom Snyder on the Tomorrow Show, like, in 75. He swears, tells me that that uh, you never made any appearance in the U.S. Uh, uh, he's arguing with me. It was on the Saturday night special, or midnight special with Wolfman Jack. And I know you did that show. But we just had this stupid argument for you know for years, wanting to know if, if that was if that was any true. I'm, I'm probably wrong. This guy wrong. trying to settle an old bet that involves Tom Snyder on our show, sir. How dare you? And Wolfman Jack. We, we never did a show live. We never were on the show, Wolfman Jack. I got to tell you. Mm. Uh, I guess you lost. Yeah, he's gone. Let's go to Travis. It was be you were better off before he asked me. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why we had to take that phone call. Let's say hi to Travis in Nebraska. Travis, what's going on, man? We got Lemmy. Hey, I'm uh, Joe and Egg, big fan. Uh, Thank Lemmy, you. Uh, yeah. love you in uh, Airhead, man. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 three seconds of it. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you actually uh, two or three weeks ago at the Rainbow. Oh, right. Yeah, and I, I met you. So uh, are you going to be hanging out there this weekend? Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to hang, gonna out, hang out with Lemmy and doodle? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you don't you doodle in the rainbow. They frown upon that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh, and you hey, got a you pencil. down to the rainbow and hang out? Nah, no. I don't know. Oh, yeah, thank you. yeah, we'll look for you. What's your name? <laughs> Travis. Thank you, uh, Travis. You gamble at all, Lemmy? Yeah. Yeah? But, but uh, I play slot machines, you know. So oh, slot machines? Slot machines. That place is no that's, good to me. That's an old woman's thing to do. No, it isn't. Yeah. Not, not if you're a young guy. you got to play, like, poker or blackjack. If you're a young guy, it's a young guy's thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What's the matter with you? He's you making no some idea. subtle sense. Well, yeah, I understand. I do a lot of that. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you play, play the slot machines, but no, uh, no card games, no poker or blackjack or nothing like that? You know that you have room for human error in card games. You like the machines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You really gotcha. get into the slot machines because there's, uh, there's not many people win at the slots. Yeah. I won nine grand on one pull in Vegas once. Really? Yeah. Not bad. That's Very, what not I... bad. I'd like to see you do it. <laughs> I, well, <laughs> I'll give it a shot, I guess. Steve's saying he goes to Vegas a lot. Steve seems to know a lot about Lemmy. You yes. go to Vegas a lot there, uh, Lemmy? Not a lot, you know, every now and again. Yeah? That once every six months. You, like you play there? At all? You ever play in Vegas? Yeah, we've played there. Isn't that odd that, like, Vegas is a place? You wouldn't think years ago that Vegas would be a place that Motorhead, Motorhead would, would uh, play. Why? I don't know. Vegas was always, like, the lounge act kind of place. Years ago, it had that uh, that the whole Elvis. thing about it. Yeah. Paul we Anka. First, we first played there in 81 with Ozzy Osbourne, you know, and they're laddie. Really? Yeah. And it wasn't odd? There weren't people in the audience going, oh, I thought I was going to see Barry Manilow. No, they were in the Barry Manilow um, part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Again, he's making some subtle sense here. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, obviously, there's people are at this show because they want to see you, you know. I mean, yeah. the billboard's outside. Nobody walks in there by mistake. Like, yeah. uh, absolutely. I, I understand. Absolutely. Uh, did, did, you think, uh, did you think Motorhead would be uh, around still when you first got together? You think uh, here we are, <laughs> 2005, that you'd still be rocking? I'd give it three years if we were lucky, you know. Really? Yeah. And then it just uh, kept going? 
Yeah, well, if you don't give up, they have to let you keep going, you know, I suppose. Well, that's true. You've got a pretty loyal fan the base. The secret of life not dying, yeah. right? <laughs> 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 yeah, the right Jack on. and Cokes seem to help. I might have to join you with uh, one of those, Lemmy. Yeah, yeah, we could just sit here. Any time, yeah. We could sit here and just drink. And doodle. Let's say uh, hi to Don in uh, New Jersey. He wants to say hi to Lemmy. Don, what's going on, buddy? Hey, Is that how Don you doing? on the phone? Hey, hey. Don. Fine, how are you? Good, Lemmy. First time I saw you was like 1980. You warmed up for Ozzy on the Blizzard of Oz tour. 81. Yeah, that 81. Was you idiot. I just, tickets, <laughs> I just got tickets for you and COC at, in Sayreville at the Starland Ballroom next month. I can't wait. Good. Good hey, for you. I hope it's a good show. It's the first show. It'd probably be a bit ropey. You yeah, I love COC, man. They rule. Yeah. I can't wait well, to see you, though. They're one of the few bands that've been around as long as we have. <laughs> COC is yeah. still out there doing it. Yeah. Wow, man. They hey, were. Lemmy. They, yeah. Hey, hey, Lemmy. Yeah. Oh my God. He had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> he really. I was like, hey, Mickey, <laughs> what? Let's. Uh, son of a bitch, hung up on you. Yeah, let's go to Mudflap, uh, the trucker. Mudflap, what's going on, buddy? Mudflap. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> What flap? Yeah, he's, he's, how's he's going? listening to his radio. Hey basket. man, yeah, turn down your radio. You're on with Lemmy. Hey Lemmy, um, yeah, this is Mud Flap. Hey, I, I just wanted to tell you about that song uh, that you have, Eat the Rich, because like me and my friend were talking a little while ago, and uh, we were talking about that song, and you're saying like, yeah, can you believe these? Oh. They're still around. I'm like, um, you know, just trying like, Norton's yeah. gag, and he's doing it poorly. Yeah, don't try Norton's gag. There's like four or five people that want to try Norton's how gag. How many day, How many dates you do a year, uh, Lemmy? How many what? How many uh, gigs are you play in a year? I don't know. We're out about seven months of the year usually. Seven months wow. of the year? That's a pretty rough schedule, man. Uh, you know, when you think, you know, you're not a kid anymore. But no. uh, even though you act like one. Although neither are you. I know. I, I didn't say that. But that's why I'm not out seven months a, a year, you know. Yeah, I couldn't do this. It's driving me crazy. You do this every day, you know. It drives me fucking crazy. <laughs> See? Gotta there you go. Out of this, what man. <laughs> Got to get out of this. <laughs> Strap on the mic uh, and just you know plow through the shit one more time. Yeah. And plaster a smile on your face and. Uh, you don't have to smile on the radio, you know. Didn't anybody tell you that? That's true. Well, <laughs> Anthony was Anthony was in the tournament yesterday, Lemmy. Yeah. Was, yeah, he was, he was playing, playing in the, the poker, poker tournament. Poker that's why we're tournament. out here, and he did pretty well. Oh, yeah. so that's where the macho card game thing came from, is it? <laughs> the <laughs> macho the, card the, game. Rabid thing, yeah. poker players, yeah. You don't no. like them sissy slot machines. Yeah. Well, you know, poker's taken over the world. Uh, I don't see. You'd TV be surprised sh- how little it's taken over the world. Actually, it's taken over America, probably. But yeah. it's it's stupid America, America right, right, Lemmy? No, but it's stupid like America. They don't play poker in, in other countries. You know? but yeah, they're, but they're not like uh, they don't have TV shows about the slot machines yet. <laughs> Not yet. But believe me, I bet it's celebrity slot machine somewhere. tour. That'd what? be fun. Someone out there will figure it out. There's a show on uh, tonight on Fox. Matter of fact, TV's just getting out of, uh, out of well, out of control. Hello, but it's getting yeah. ridiculous. I should say they're doing a show on Fox tonight. It's called Celebrities Without Makeup. Without makeup, yeah, they're showing people. Well, wow, they uh, must be stuck for a show. Huh? Exactly. That's what I was thinking. I thought it was a goof. I was uh, a getting, slow news day. Yeah, <laughs> I was getting ready to come down here to do the you know the radio show, and they, they they had commercials for this thing. I swear to God, I thought I was watching a rerun of like Saturday Night Live or something. Right. It was and a it was fake a, commercial. And it was a goof commercial. I know. And then realized, no, it's it's real. They're just going to show pictures of celebrities tonight without their makeup well, on. Well, the more dumb it is, you know, the more real it's going to be. You know, you can mm-hmm. bank, bank on that. We, uh, we we Americans love stupid television, Lemmy. Apparently. We don't like, you know, the clever <laughs> stuff like Benny Hill. I know. Stuff yeah. like that. Benny Hill. Yeah, the smart <laughs> stuff. I know. <laughs> Do you guys just laugh at Americans every so often? You're on stage and you just look out and go, these stupid Americans. Well, I don't Americans. laugh at Benny Hill. I'll tell you that. I, I stopped laughing at him when I was 12. And even then, I was forcing it off the time. Yeah. I, you know, I never liked Benny Hill much. I liked Monty Python. Yeah, that's now, that was very but funny. But you had to put a laugh track on it before America got it. <laughs> we are so stupid over here no, in this just, country. It's just different. It's not, yeah. You know, we, we, we have to be shown when to laugh with the English humor. Because we humor, don't really yeah. understand Mind it you, sometimes. Mind so do most other countries. Sometimes we're, we're laughing and we probably shouldn't be, and other times we're not laughing and we should be. Well, you know, take yeah. your pick. Benny Hill used to like to dress up in women's clothing. Yeah, I know. Very good, Kenny. And he wasn't very cute that. either. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. You must be the worst transvestite I've ever seen in your life. Right? But you guys, uh, they're not caught up in, uh, with the sex thing overseas there. You, you show the boobs and stuff on regular TV, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, over here it's a... Ooh, On page yeah. three of the most popular national newspaper, yeah. the Paris If that there. happened here, forget about so it. People lose their minds. And the New York Times? Mm -hmm. it, oh, yeah. The whole Janet Jackson thing, you guys must have laughed at us. Silly. Yeah, absolutely. Silly. I mean, that, that boob is on TV for so what, an eighth know? of a second. Who you, cares? Yeah. You know what I mean? And you guys so over okay. there, you, you got uh, boobs on TV all the time. You on think it TV. was like treason or spying or something? Right. You know? Why is America so uptight, Lemmy? It's a religion. You know? Is it the religion, you think? Mm -hmm. mm. A lot of people uh, have this guilt thing about sex and the body because of religion. Well, well, it's yeah. not like we're exclusive to religion, though. They're pretty religious over there in England, too. No, they're not. No? Mm -mm. I thought they were. What, what, where am I getting my information from? <laughs> Somebody religious? I, I, would, I would think. <laughs> I, I was under the impression there were religious people all around the globe. Well, there um, are. I, I didn't think it was just in the United States, but why are we so uptight about uh, about things like sex when but, you know. well they're more rabidly fanatic in America you know I mean you get I mean, I'll give you an example we were on tour with Wendy o. Williams a few years back right mm -hmm. and outside the gig in California in Southern California advanced Southern California right we got Mohicans for Jesus outside Mohicans. all with Mohican haircuts Jesus. and wearing a cross on the front of them. the devil is in this ballroom you know what I mean so wow. I mean, at this point I just you know, put up your hands and say good night you know? <laughs> how do you too, argue that that's too ridiculous to even talk about you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't even discuss shit with him look at him that you know? is yeah how are you going to sit down and have yeah. a rational conversation with I mean you people? know you look at him you crack up laughing anyway before mm -hmm. you and, and they're trying to sell you God, you know, like, okay, yeah, good. Wow. Fine. You, ever, you ever have to take any uh, guff from any of these religious groups thinking, you know, you're Satan and spreading the music of no, the devil? No, we don't get a lot of that, no. No, you don't? Well, we sing, we sing about murder and war and sex, you see, which is mostly okay, <laughs> except for the sex bit, but right. they, don't really, and they haven't really zeroed in on this yet. You Isn't know? that odd that the killing and stuff is perfectly acceptable, but for some reason, <laughs> sex... Just you know, know how much blood you got all over the yeah, screen. Yeah, like know? every night on TV, okay. you can tune in the news and see piles of dead bodies, but for some reason, if a, their young child walks in the room and you see half a breast, they I, lose their minds. Yeah. And that's, you know, a they beautiful do. thing. It's really weird. Yeah, I don't get it. I think we should just sit back, drink more Jack and Cokes, rock to some Motorhead. And get your tits out, basically. And get your tits <laughs> out. Damn it, I love your philosophy. Yeah. Well, why not, you know? We should take a little break. We're hanging we'll with take Lemmy. take a breather. Lemmy needs another drink, no, Lemmy? Ooh. I'm still on the first one. Dates. Well, but doing pretty well. You can get me another one if you like. All right, we'll get you another drink. I like drink. that. I might join Lemmy, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Mix me up a Jack and Coke. I'm going to have my first on-air drink since uh, we've been on XM. And uh, we'll, we'll be hanging with Lemmy from Motorhead. and sure. uh, I'm going to be like my guitarist and drink with Lemmy and pass out, pass out while I'm supposed to be working. <laughs> All right. And they are beginning the final round of the Ooh. World Poker Tour. Yes, they oh, are. You can just feel the excitement in this room. You just... <laughs> Lemmy's laughing. <laughs> Dude, Lemmy's with me. It's, I can't believe you the, the, televised a card game. Yeah, this, <laughs> this whole thing is a joke, right, Lemmy? No! Listen, I, I, uh, stinks. I wonder about televised stupid. golf, you know, never mind poker. Hey, 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 chill out with the golf. I like watching See, the golf silly. on Sundays. Good See, luck. silly? Now you, people you are a little this. ball into a hole with a piece of iron and wood, and then you walk after it. I mean, I say, if you get it in the hole first time, take it in your pocket and go to the clubhouse. <laughs> You've got already Leave. Ahead it's a mission accomplished. Why do it another uh, what, golf 17 times? times. <laughs> but golf is very relaxing on a Sunday to watch. You have it in the background, you're drinking some coffee. Well, they just go for a walk in the country. <laughs> I guess you're right about That's that. That's true. <laughs> Why? Not, but you don't have to keep whacking that stupid ball, and it's not all manicured either. But watching you know? people play poker on TV is stupid. It's, you know what it is? It's almost like a game show environment on TV. You're watching it, you're, you're, you're rooting for somebody, and then you see their cards, you see what they have, you're seeing if they're bluffing each other. I, I find it uh, uh, compelling to watch. You do? Yeah, I do. Dude, he's getting okay. kind of into it. He's embarrassing everybody. He's getting his pictures taken with these guys. Uh, the and card players that are very all excited. Uh, he but, just likes to meet rich people, doesn't he? Yeah. I would, yeah. Be nice, you know. You meet some of these people. I see them on television. They're they're celebrities too, not in the same light as Lemmy from Motorhead, but they play cards, you know, and they're famous in their well, own right. I play night. cards. Can they play bass? That's the thing, isn't it? Probably not. <laughs> they probably can. Not probably like a few you. of them can, you know. Not like you. Statistically, probably a few of them must mm -hmm. be able to, but you never know. Who do you find uh, good bass players that are out there these days? Well, the best one ever was John Entwistle. Yeah. God rest him. God rest John Entwistle. Well, I, I mean... Or whoever rest him. You know, I mean, he wasn't that keen on God either, as well, I remember. Thank you. No swizzle stick? 
So, what uh, do you want four. a swizzle stick for? Are you going to swizzle? <laughs> I want to swizzle a little before I drink. Dude, don't swizzle in front of Lemmy. Don't swizzle in front of the huge radio audience. I just, there's, there's swizzle that's sticks, That's good. A knife Steve. is good. Wow. Steve, there's swizzle sticks. That's yeah, a swizzle left knife. The who, ma- who made this? It certainly looks a little has pale. A swizzle Why knife. is my drink lighter Anthony, than Lemmy's? Anthony, my drink not. is lighter than Lemmy's. Don't swizzle don't in front swizzle. of Lemmy. Let me take it. No, I'll take this one. Ah. Perfect. Ooh, that's good. No, that's See? good. Very good. Yeah, I, that was. A, yeah. Wow, they're just giving you. Oh wow! Wow, now they just gave you a now tumbler. That's, this is like poker. I've just been raised by Lemmy. They yeah. put a bigger glass in front of him. I'm sitting here with the small. You I got the short me? stack. What's your little swizzle and a little straw? You got a little swizzle though. And, and look, Lemmy's got. Lemmy is dual swizzling in that glass that's right better. there. And Lemmy's just. Oh, you like the bigger one? <laughs> I have to drink yours? No, you don't have to. All right. Let me. Why don't you just use the huge glass you got in the front of your pants? <laughs> that, that I don't have a glass in the front of me. Whoa! Yeah, let me. You got it. Certainly looked like a it's tumbler. A in it. It's a bottle. You keep a spare bottle of Jack in Long there. neck goes down better. Let me. The guys were discussing that you might have a huge hog. <laughs> might do. Is it, are, are you uh, one of those? Occasionally ones? I do. Yeah, when the well, stimulation is sufficient. You know. Well, we had Deacon Jones on the show yesterday. He's uh, an NFL great. You remember Deacon Jones back no. in the day? Football. Mind you, I'm not a football Oh, NFL. Player. All right, I'm sorry. But he, he was bragging that he had a 15, 16-incher. And not that hooligan football that they play over there in Europe. Soccer? The, the thing is, did he show you? We, do we say, no. He goes, I'll whip it out. We're like, well, go ahead then, man. And, but and, he didn't. And it's not that. It's not because it's a, it's a gay thing. It's like more of a freak show. you got to check out a 15, freak 16, show. <laughs> you got to check out a 15, 16-incher, right? You're not going to want to see it in any sexual manner, but no. you've got to see it as like looking at Nessie or something. Yeah. Yeah. Nessie. It's like, yes. a, it's like a sideshow mm-hmm. thing. I'll pay my 50 cents. It's the same effect, really. <laughs> right. It <laughs> sort of pokes its head up yeah. and, and it's back in. Yeah, each grass, you know. <laughs> All right. People take photos People of it. People throw peanuts at it, you know. <laughs> Excuse me, Lemmy. Hey, Jumbo. All you know. right. Lemmy. Yeah. You, you know what has a hundred teeth and holds back a monster? Yeah, your zipper. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got that one joke. very much that, correct. That's, that's as old as I am. I think. <laughs> well, I've been in a coma. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, well, Lemmy, I, don't, same, I, don't, you know. I don't know about Lemmy's, uh, any of the uh, mythology that goes behind Lemmy, but are you known for a huge schlong in the uh, no. groupie community or anything? Like, I know, what are, what are the rock stars that have known Hendrix for Hendrix had one, Hendrix right? Hendrix was Hendrix known to have a big one. one. Yeah, you used to hang with Hendrix, right? I used to work for him. You used to work for him? What'd you do? I used to just lift equipment and shift it from place to place, yeah. A roadie, roadie for Hendrix. You must have seen some stuff then, right? Oh, yeah. Back in the day? Well, see, it was a lot more fun then. Yeah. It's a lot of business now, right? Cheaper drugs, no AIDS, you know. Not so fun. That's true. Unlimited whoopee, basically. If you could get away from the ODs, it was pretty much safe uh, There wasn't safe was many people OD'd. I mean, there Hendrix didn't no OD. He choked on his own vomit, which is very, very different. I think you'll agree. I don't know. Is it really yeah. different, or did well, he it, choke because he in was... In the fact that death is the outcome. No, it's not <laughs> yeah, different. You think the bottom <laughs> line, like, I'm talking bottom OD line here, when the chemical kills you, you know. True. Okay. didn't do that. Yeah. Then it was an accident. shouldn't have happened. But all that uh, banging without rubbers and not worrying about it. Oof. Well, there's nothing to worry about. Not got to be great. Except pregnant, you know. Yeah. yeah oh, and then they come back years later. Well, we used to use a rhythm method. Apparently, I couldn't keep a beat because I have two kids, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Lemmy. All right, we're going to hang with Lemmy and just uh, get drunk because mm-hmm. uh, there's nothing oh, else to do here. Well, I mean, no, no, not, you're not drinking. Nothing oh, that's a good one. I got, I'm going to throw something in my coffee maybe. I don't know. Yeah, a little, yeah, little splash in little there. A little something-something. Well, sure. Sugar well. one person. <laughs> <laughs> we're hanging with uh, Lemmy from um, Motorhead, obviously. What is uh, Steve bringing in now? Clown porn guys are here? No, no, that's Jeff. No, I know. I remember Jeff. No, more porn. More porn, great. More porn. Jesus. <laughs> We got, they, All right. they bring us pornography. All right, we're hanging uh, at the World Poker Good Tour. Stuff. They're about to begin, um, tele- uh, well, they're not televising, but they're taping it for a future broadcast, right? Yes. We're at the Commerce Casino in Los Angeles. It's the Opie and Anthony program. Mm-hmm. And we're hanging with Lemmy from Motorhead, live from Los Angeles at the Commerce uh, Casino. That, of course, is the game, Triple H's uh, walk-on music. I think he's still walking on to that, right? Yeah. 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 Triple, like, H's, I, Triple H is a friend of the show, by the way, Lemmy. So Triple H is a friend of the show. He was a friend of mine too. Yeah, he uh, he he used to do our show a lot, and um, we'd bring girls in. Right. And uh, he was able to spank the girls. There was. Oh, he likes that, I believe. He loves to spank girls, and there was this girl uh, Peaches that he really worked over. It was great. Her ass was like as red as these uh, chairs. You like that, dude? Uh, well, it was cool to watch. Triple H yeah, liked definitely. It, yeah. 
It yeah. wasn't bad at all. And then uh, he, then he goes off and gets married to Stephanie, who we know pretty well, too. Don't and now he's not allowed them. to do the spanking when I'll he comes kick in. kick your ass. Well, you know, Stephanie's probably doing it all now. Yeah. yeah, getting that big meaty hand of his on the ass. I like how your guy is just all business, bringing over your gig dates and stuff, making sure you get those across. Yeah. Is that what that is? Get a couple of them across. Got to plug a few. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? I mean, you, you can't wait to hear about the gig in Albuquerque, right? Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> Come on, Lemmy. Is there a party scene in Albuquerque? Yeah, what kind You'd of... be surprised, actually. In those places, you make your own amusement, you know? Yeah, that's true. You know, if there's not much to do, Motorhead comes to town. You go to the Motorhead show. Hell yeah. It's, it's more of an event for them, see? So. What did you do? Uh, did you go to the Grammys? Did you accept your award? Or... Yeah. You but, got up on but they stage? didn't televise our bit with, with the, the hoi polloi, you know, with the poor people like well, the peasants. The fuck was that? We well, because it's rock it. and roll. They don't like that. They're trying to kill it again, you know. They put all this crap up there. Lemmy wins a goddamn Grammy. You can't get up there and, uh, you know, accept. They were probably scared of what you might say, too, you know. I said, thank you very much. You've got a lucky face. Oh, there you go. That's, that's not <laughs> bad. Suitably perplexing. <laughs> Suitably perplexing. It's not like you curse or anything, because God forbid, you know, you hear any language oh, God on forbid, television. God yes. You know, that's, uh, they'll be fining you millions of Actually, dollars. I don't believe God forbid cursing, did he? I can't find it in the Bible. You know something? Now that I think about it, uh, that doesn't make much sense. God no. forbid. Yeah. No. Yeah, God didn't forbid cursing. Yeah, you didn't thank God or anything when you no. accepted your award? I that's love funny, the porno awards, AVN awards. You get this mm -hmm. chick got nominated for a gangbang with seven guys, and she I'd like to thank God and my parents, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. mom and dad. You know, they never like, pan over to the proud dad sitting, there, <laughs> sitting in the audience. It's just like the Oscars on you know, yeah. it's funny as shit. Yeah, I'd like to thank my father for touching me when I was a kid yeah. and sending me into this spiral of For making me gravity. guilty. <laughs> All right, so you're playing Albuquerque. Where else? There, Lemmy. Uh, the Walton Theater, like I said, first of April, yep. and then the House of Blues in Anaheim. Oh, nice. that'll be cool. That House of Blues, those clubs are great, man. Yeah, they are. And the House of Blues in Vegas the day after that. So we just saw there. Greg Allman at the House of Blues in uh, New Orleans. Yeah? yeah, that's a good club too. We've been there. You hang out with any of the classic rockers? No. Or, or, those, or are they another group where you're like, eh. Well, they're mostly boring, you know. I mean. Some of them have really gone, like, soft. Like, you are still kicking ass and playing, you know, the same roots of music that, you, that when you started. Right. Uh, but some of these guys, like I saw years ago, I, I was such a huge Blue Oyster Cult fan. <laughs> and I went to go see them guys. What is he laughing? Uh, years ago, back in the, you know, the, uh, mid-late 70s, stuff like that. I love those guys. I saw him in concert so many times, you know, and just blasting out, you know, rock and really cool. Uh, I saw him recently, you know, within a few years, at some small venue, and it was like they were doing Muzak versions of their songs. Right. You know, everything's turned way down. A medley of our greatest hits. Yeah, a yeah. medley of greatest hits. It's all low volume, you know. People are sitting there, and the crowd is Chicken just... Chicken in the basket and that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, you know, going out to get some refreshments to bring back to their seat. And, you know, I understand these are old guys and stuff, but it's, you know... Well, so am I, but you don't have to let it get you down. Right, you know? you're still out there on stage rocking, well, you know? Really fast, the saddest uh, story I got, I saw Robbie Krieger by himself in a small club on Long Island. I think it was called Christopher's or something. Yep. Remember that joint? I remember yeah. that place. It, it was maybe... Maybe could uh, fill a hundred people at the at the club. Okay, right. people were playing pool and they had a hockey game on while Robbie Krieger was in the corner playing, and and the and people are screaming and yelling when you know the Islanders. See, were... that's just bad manners, isn't it? Yeah, well, mm -hmm. and and the, they had the volume up on the TV a little bit, and every time the Islanders scored, the place is cheering, and there's Robbie Krieger, you know, a legend to many, yeah. in the corner just kind of eating it, man. Well, see, so he shouldn't have ate it, you know. He, he should have done the gig, off, right? You know? There were some it was, gigs. It was very sad. I remember doing some gigs, though, where we'd yeah. be out playing, and you get done with the song, and you hear the crowd really cheering, and you feel good, and you look, and they were watching something on TV. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, fuck this, man. No, there are some places you just got no fucking class at all. Yeah. You know, it's just mm -hmm. no, no point going there. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, might, as, might as well just stay home and get broke. And then we had, yeah. you know, we had a story. Break your heart in a place like that. <laughs> yeah. You, know? yeah. we had you do leave feeling a little bad about yourself. Yeah. You know? <laughs> we, had a story, we had a story last week that there's a cruise ship that has Styx, Ario Speedwagon, and uh, Journey. And Journey. There's a thought. Can you imagine? <laughs> Trapped a on a ship with all three of them. Yeah, and these people are signing up to go on these cruises with these, you know, quote, classic rock bands. And, yeah. And then the bands hang out with you at the buffet line and stuff. Can you how, imagine? How good would that ship look in the periscope of a U-boat? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Right. So, you 149, what did you get this time? Oh. Just a couple of torpedoes <laughs> slammed into the side of that vessel. 
Yeah, Watch them uh, jumping off with their you mullets. You probably think it was an advert for Motley Crue, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see my torpedo, baby? You, know. uh, you can hear the churn in the background. They yeah, have. I know. I'm hearing there must be some action taking place, but I'm looking at the uh, no, screen. I guess they're just introducing people. Yeah. Yeah. Norman Schwarzkopf's just arrived or something. Is he playing poker? I probably. Everybody else is, apparently. <laughs> What do you got there, uh, Steve? Steve, with more information. Steve, wow. you, Steve's very excited that Lemmy's here today. Why don't you ask him yourself? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Steve. Oh, okay. No, Thanks, I just... Steve. Sorry, Lemmy. Play the game. That's right. No, I was actually... I wanted to bring up that Steve Vai played guitar on uh, Lemmy's... Uh, on a Motorhead's latest album. Yeah, he did. Really? That's pretty badass. And my phone's going off again. Haven't, heard from, uh, haven't heard from Steve in a while. Yeah, well, he's still around. He's on tour right now. Is he? Yeah. Knocking yeah. around. Yeah, he kind of fell off the face of the earth for a while. One well, of those no, he, guys, it was uh, huge, you know. He's playing. He's doing those 3G things, you know, the three guitar players yeah. do a show. Oh, really? Him and Satriani and whoever else, you know, in Bay Momstein Picked sometimes. The, the three tenors? Is that what they well, it's, Yeah, like that. It's, <laughs> I like that, of, only completely different. I hey. don't like just guitarists, you know. I just no. I don't like a solo that goes on for the whole song. I like a Thank few you. words yeah. at the end of it, you know. I oh, know. I hate that. That and, like, long drum solos. I'm glad they got away from that shit. Well, we have a long drum solo, but nah. because we've got a drummer who like, does a good one. But, Lemmy, let me tell you something. I've seen really good drum solos. It's still a drum solo. I know. For, guy, for drummers, it's like the greatest thing. You sit there and, like, you're completely fixated. Everyone else is, you know, let's get out and get the beer, you know? Ours is different. Come and see us. Is Wilton. it really? Yeah. You come and see us Anaheim or Wilton. Or really? Vegas, even. Or, or Albuquerque. And I I'll, could, I I'll could. make you eat your stick words. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> or rather, Mickey will. I knew right when I said it that he was going to have a drum solo yeah, thing. I but, you know, I've never been into the drum solo. Well, neither no. have I, believe me, neither have I. But when we got Mickey, he was too good to let go. You know what I mean? We, yeah. we had to do it. We had to feature Although the band, uh, you're familiar with, of course, Godsmack. You know, Godsmack. Those no. guys. Oh, they, I know the name. Yeah, they, they do a great drum solo because it's a little different, you know? Yeah. It's like two, two guys squaring off two drummers. This singer also a uh, drum so I believe uh, guys. Phil Collins does a very nice a lot of sounds like <laughs> two guys but it's just Mickey yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I want to ask Steve something where's the clown people clown people have let obviously me would, let me would enjoy something like that I know no, well we got there's all sorts of porn out there right let me there's, he's sperm overdose <laughs> three Jesus because one Christ. and two left so many unanswered questions. Uh, no. <laughs> Wait, we got more porn. Jeff, Jeff just Jeff actually used to work with Lemmy, and so he was excited that uh, that uh, that Lemmy was here. But in in honor of it, he brought all all of his porn. Sperm overdose three. Sperm overdose three. <laughs> Five guy cream pie fifteen. <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ, that's a good one. A load in every oh, hole. Three. Please give it up. <laughs> wow, this right. is really well, some. Uh, this is one. really subtle. <laughs> 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 yeah. But the one I want to bring up with him is the, so clown, the Shakespeare clown porn. porn there, you know. A lot of mystery. You're not sure what you're getting. <laughs> it was clown porn. Was clown porn? Clown porn was basically the, these guys, these young guys that figured out that they could make porn more interesting by dressing the girls up in clown suits. It wasn't anything too graphic or vulgar, but they dressed them up in clown suits, and then at the end of every scene, they would bash these girls in the face with cream pies. Wow. That is the dumbest. That's, you know, that's so almost as dumb as televised poker. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm with you, Lemmy. I'm Come with on you. now. There's something to be said for this. I'd I rather know. watch paint dry. Yeah, right? <laughs> Listen to somebody kick your shins. <laughs> <laughs> I dig it. And then they, like these, guys walk, these guys are starting to walk around like rock stars. You sit and watch that, do you, at home? I, at home, absolutely. I sit, watch I watch, I, I, know, I know the names. I know. I, you make Why don't you get three guys around and play it yourself? And play man. poker? At least you can win some money that way. You know? you know what? It's almost like people that sit and watch uh, baseball. You know, you could get out and get a game together with your it's friends. It's not quite the same. You're watching a crowd of millions, you know, and all that. You know. But it's not going to be as compelling playing the game because you're not as good. And you, you know, haven't got that much money. And you don't have that much money. <laughs> Very good. But, you know, to watch the professionals and the, the best of the best sit there and play poker against each other, and especially a game like No Limit Hold'em, where it's a lot more strategy than just the luck of the draw, What it's What's the big attraction? A good bluff, right? You where know, they sit there and look at the other guys, <laughs> yes, and the other guys look compelling. back at them, and maybe they fool them, and maybe they don't. If you're watching a guy dog, and, you, and you see that he really doesn't have a good hand, and the other guy's got a pretty good hand, and the, uh, through the betting, the guy with the lousier hand and makes he never the guy with the good hand so not, fold, yeah, never that's compelling. Twitches. It's compelling television. His eyes stay still. Right, right. they right. stay still. It does that, no sweating. He's not smiling. He's right. keeping what they call that poker face. It's that old stone face. It's kind of compelling that's to watch. That's compelling there, television, if you like. Give me John Wayne any fucking day, you know. <laughs> Mr. Lemmy, what do you uh, like to do for fun? Oh, 
I like to chase girls. I like to catch girls. That's what is better. Mm-hmm. He's all about getting laid, Kenny. He, mm-hmm. he already said that. It's drinking. I don't get that long left, you know. You got I got to make the most of it. You got plenty of years left, Lenny. Drinking, kicking ass know? on stage. Oh, you've been talking to God. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, chasing broads. You're not, you're not scared to die. You, you've probably seen a lot of your compa- compadres die, right? Sure, yeah. You, well, the hard life living, you know. Do you use condoms? No, Jerry Ramon died of lymphoma. It, yeah. You know, nothing to do with it. You know. S- sir, do you use condoms? Do you have safe sex? Yeah, I, I'm going to pull one of my head and go rob a fucking bank. <laughs> 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 Makes more sense, you know. He uses them, just not for that, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. You figure, you know, even if you got AIDS now, it takes, what, 20 years? Well, five well, tops, you know. I mean, I'm 59 now. What have I got to fucking? By that time, you know, ah, who cares, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> they got the super aids though now. I think you go for broke. Yeah, there's a, there were stories in the paper about super aids. So even Superman is in safe. <laughs> <laughs> no, even so it's kryptonite so and AIDS. Kryptonite and AIDS. Two man. things now that Lex Luthor could hit him with. Kryptonite or. Screw him in the ass. Well, he always wore his underpants outside his clothes. I thought that was kind of strange, you know. Oh, so. a little weird there. Yeah, a and bit that, of a that poof. cloak, you know, that cape thing, you know. What is it with superheroes and capes, Who anyway? Who that? You know, you try wearing one in the streets how far you get, you know, down Santa Monica. Maybe he's trying <laughs> to get, a, get into a fight, right? Ooh, Superman was here yesterday. Where are you going tonight? I'm going to make a Pinocchio. <laughs> Whoops, I like my cape, you know. I know, kind of dangerous, man, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I was wow. going to ask him about movies, but he, you probably have you seen a movie lately? Mm-hmm. I ask because the Oscars are. You know, I just Sunday like you knowing, yeah, a little different part of Lemmy. I know about the Rock and the Broads and stuff and the and the booze, but you know, what what you like movies? You like uh, sure. You know what you know. What, what what have you seen lately that you uh, you enjoyed? Maybe Lemmy's movie. I picks. just rewatched Scarface again. Cause that's a great one. That's so funny, you know. Mm-hmm. He's, he, that's such a great character. It's uh, such it's a bad yeah. Spanish accent, you know. Oh, I don't <laughs> I don't think that movie holds up. No, it's the a little dated. Yeah. I don't think it's supposed to be really true life. No, I know, but I mean, some of these <laughs> movies, like you could see The Godfather and it's and, and, and Goodfellas and Goodfellas, Goodfellas. all those movies, they yeah. they hold up. But I'm yeah, telling see, you, something about Scarface. The Cuban mafia, wasn't it? Like, yeah, but the, but the the violence it looks really fake. The blood looks fake. It looks dated. It looks, it looks like very an 80s dated, movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, no, I mean, I just that's saw when I enjoyed it first time, so I'm yeah. enjoying I, it again. You know, why not? I like Casino. That's Casino, that's great. Casino and Goodfellas, two of the best movies. Joe Pesci and Casino is one of the meanest motherfuckers I've ever seen in my. My life. And yeah. he really gets it in the end. I bet he's a really nice guy too in real life. Yeah, so we hear. I just saw Raging Bull, and that movie holds up. Yeah. That holds for up. the most part, you know. I some of the, some, De Niro some of the jabs look that. fake, but in the fighting, in the, the trouble he went to, De Niro yeah. put on all that weight and then drop it again. You know? I'm, I'm so annoyed with uh, him these days, man. His movie choices just blow. It's yeah. like classic. It's really some strange. of these classic movies that if you if you're rattling around the channels and one of these come on, you don't care Bingo. if it's halfway That's through. It. You're watching the rest of it. Yeah. The movies he's coming out with now, the guy isn't even thinking. He's just like cashing a check, and it pisses me off. Possibly because I love. Uh, I Love she's tired of working on Yeah, you God think? knows he's done enough for us, I guess. I would rather, you know, remember De Niro for the, for the good movies and some of the crap he's putting out Well, now. don't watch the new ones, I guess, you know. Maybe I'll do that, Lemmy. That's me, all you can do. I just it? won't watch it. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. That's all I can do. Take That's all you can do. That's all we can do. Did you watch... Uh, I'm like such a fag. I'm drinking out of my little straw, I know. Lemmy. You know, I'm trying to be cool and hang out with Lemmy. You see, you're swizzling even though you're halfway through it. You're right. I'm a swizzling faggot. You're swizzling. He's pounding. What a rotten tumbler, and you're 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 drinking from a straw. I'm taking small little sips with my I pinky know. out. I know. Ugh. I know. It's Did, you, Did you see any new movies like from the past year, like Passion of the Christ or any of those? No. I, like mind you, it, it wouldn't be a bad idea to see somebody kick the shit out of Jesus for an hour and a half. Or <laughs> Did but I? it's never been done, has it? You know. I, I went with my dad. He it's cr- never been done though. No. You, you always see the crucifixion scene. That's the first thing you see, right? He never gets. All that torture, because they did torture him, right? He's, pre- he's pretty much in good shape when they put him up there. I thought he was very well adjusted for an only child, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like his religious views. Yeah, I don't have religious Not a very view. religious guy, are you there, Lemmy? Listen, I don't believe that you could follow that. It's a thin story, you know what I mean? A virgin gets pregnant by a ghost. Mm-hmm. And then she goes home and says, I'm still a virgin, darling, but I'm pregnant. And he goes for it, you know. You the think way I see it, he deserves to live in a stable. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you figure she was just making up a story to cover up, right? I really have no idea. I didn't mm-hmm. know the lady, but it seems kind of strange to me, you know. Yeah. 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 Passion of the Christ. I don't know. Did you see it? 
I saw I saw it with my dad, and he cried through the whole thing. And I'm sitting there thinking, this is the biggest piece really? of crap I've ever seen. Uh huh. So really? There's the generation gap for you. Isn't it? Obviously, mm. yeah, because he's a lot more religious than well, he was a lot more religious than I. <laughs> yeah. He was. Why? Well, he, he passed. Oh, so, so now he's found out. Fine. Well, hopefully he's finding out right now. Yeah. Stays. But I hope it wasn't thing. a disappointment. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering. I would love to know, but uh, I don't know. It was just a movie of uh, just someone getting beat up. The whole. I mean. Uh, I know. So I mean, what does that tell you about Mel Gibson? You know? How many ways can we think of to torture this poor long-haired well, bastard? He, he likes before, action movies. Before we stick a crown of thorns on him and nail him to a piece of wood. No, it's very right. nice. You know. I, I, I get Fun it. for all the family. It was like, I get it. He, get, he was abused really bad before they threw him up on the cross. But I, he I wanted to show it, it all. Yeah, we know. get yeah. it. We understand. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Mel oh, Kenny? Gibson was great in that one. He wasn't in it. His, yes, he was. No. Was he? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah his, was he the guy with the nails? Yeah, his fist was in it. He was, the one, he was the one that... How uh, can you tell you have a tattoo or something? I don't know. No, I <laughs> read... <Just> watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's <a> Rolex. <laughs> this is how boring my life is. I read a whole article on it. It was, it was <laughs> his hand that uh, hit, you know, hit the last spike yeah. or whatever. Wow. See, I knew it would be the nail scene. I knew yeah. it. Do you mind crossing the legs, please? You've only got one nail left, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to wrap up the Lemmy uh, interview. All righty. Because uh, you got to go, they're saying. Have we? Lemmy? Who said that? Oh, Once can, again, hell, do we have to go? No. Oh. Gosh, I go. You just want to get rid of me because I'm not I, religious. No, I don't want to get rid of you. You offended his religion. <laughs> <laughs> now he's trying to kick you out of here. Not at all. These zealots. No, no, all I, I got to note that. No. These religious fantastic. What, Steve? Mm -hmm. uh, it was his fault, Lemmy. Oh, him. Yeah. What, 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 what was the problem? Dan. What? Dan, I know we're boring, but. No, this guy. No. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Can you. Turn that mic on. Now, one of Lemmy's guys came up to me and said we uh, we had ten more minutes and that was ten minutes ago. But now now we're saying now we now we no. got to do math. What is that? How yeah, many minutes are left? Ten minutes ago. Ten None. minutes. Zero yeah. minutes. Right. But apparently it was all a subterfuge. It was all subterfuge. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> of course it was. Yes. Yeah, so I'm trying to pull the wool over our eyes. Yes. All right. Why don't we take a break then? We're hanging Certainly. with Lemmy from Motorhead. We're talking about I don't know. I really don't know. Stuff. Oh, just, Stuff. Just life. We're just hanging just out, drinking with here, Lemmy, and uh, hanging out. Talking and about life. Talking uh, about the special, you know, relationship between poker players and their audience. Exactly. And I'm, I, as I look up, I see they are up at their uh, seats. Did you get a picture at with that table? guy, Anthony? Wow, uh, that's, um, you know something? I don't know who a lot of these final table guys are. A lot of people made it through that weren't the superstars, except for, uh, you know, Jesus. Too much. A guy named yeah. Jesus is playing, by the way. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's funny. Yeah. Well, wouldn't he know if he won or not? <laughs> not that, Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you you uh, idiot. No, I think Jesus' big thing was he didn't win, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was his old fascination, wasn't it? Turning his water into more chips and cheating. <laughs> <laughs> A little upsetting to the rest of the players, I think. <laughs> All right, well. Here comes another Who's that? One. That's the actor? Oh yeah, one of the actors. One of the uh, one of the actors made it to the final table. Which he was in American Werewolf in Paris, the remake or the uh, sequel to American Werewolf that, in London. That, that stank. The sequel or the original? I no, like the, the original. original. Was great. I like the original. Yeah, I like the original. Stay on the sure. roads, stay off the moors. All right. See noof. Love that movie. Anthony, quick break, and we'll continue with Lemmy from Motorhead. Live from the World Poker Tour in Los Angeles, California. It's the Obi and Anthony Show. <laughs> Yeah. What are you talking about? I sit here, I make some asinine comments, and I check the computer. And you're a good squeezer. Yeah. yeah. It is insane. The Opie and Anthony Show. Yeah, this Willie, can I help you? Uh, yes, I would like to see. Is there a way I can find out which uh, date that I applied for a loan? You want to find out when you applied for your loan? Yeah, the date that I applied. You took out a loan with us? Yeah. Uh, Look on your calendar. Oh, my what? Look on your damn calendar. Why can't you look on your calendar? Well, what kind of fucking customer service representative you hey, is you, you, you telling me to look at a calendar? Hey, don't be talking to me that way, bitch. I just asked you to tell you to look on your calendar. You don't know when the hell you took out your loan? What's your loan number? I'll look it up for you. None of your fucking business, you faggot ass hey, pig. Kiss and kiss that's my, why you're working in customer kiss service. My hairy Sitting ass. on your fat, lazy, stinking, nasty hey, behind, making $6 think you an hour. It's kind of gibberish. Your lips flapping in the wind. <laughs> Buying rubbers has to be the most embarrassing thing in the world for guys. And the second most embarrassing thing 
is when we're going to the supermarket and the girl goes, hey, listen, since you're already going to the store, could you buy me a bottle of that water and vinegar stuff? And you'll buy like 55 items and that computer scanner will read every one except this one thing. It's a beep, 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 pew, pew. Price check. Uh, 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 I think it was 10 bucks. Oh, 10 bucks? There's no way this is $10. I'll pay 20 to ring it up right now. We can't charge you $20 for this. Price check on this one quart water and vinegar douche. Forget it. I don't want the douche. Forget it. He doesn't want the douche. I remember once I went to buy rubbers. I'm waiting in line. Get up to the counter. The druggist walks away. And this girl comes up. Hi, can I help you? I said, yeah, can I talk to him for a minute? She said, why? You want to buy rubbers? Bill, come here. I think he wants to buy rubbers. People are looking at me like, aren't you the douche guy from the supermarket? <laughs> what kind of a show are you guys putting on here today? Cancel all Welcome to Radio Free America. America's ready. I'm ready. I, mean, I, I want a million voices crying out in the wilderness. Jesus, let's get serious. Now, take a deep cleansing breath. <laughs> I'm over here now. Back up, yeah. Nice yeah. head, dick. Back. Back it. Guess who's back? Oh, man. Back up, yeah. I don't believe it. Stupid. You're oh, so stupid. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Back, back. Back up, yeah. Guess who's back? The Opie and Anthony program, hanging with Lemmy from Motorhead, talking about life. Want to thank uh, Jay Moore for stopping by. <laughs> oh Jesus! What was his ex- his excuse this time? Did or, he call uh, Ben? Or Ben, no. are you making all this up? I think Ben just says, "Yeah, Jay's supposed to call today." Jay Moore was supposed to stop by and hang with us today. Do we have his number? We should call him. Yeah, call absolutely, him. call him call right him. now. Probably has his radio on. Yeah, yeah, call, call him. Turn the radio on. Call him up and see what happened. <coughs> we sort of had uh, a lot of uh, uh, Hollywood uh, friends, not that we care, and they've all blown us off in the last few months. So. You should go passionately. After nah, we got really. the boot. You know, we went through a little hard time a couple of years ago. We got fired from our, uh, Lemmy knows who we are. From our job. Talking know. about the church, we, we did something pretty impressive, Lemmy. Yeah. Uh, two, two years ago <laughs> or so, a little over, little over two years ago, we were... Well, uh, this is a true story. Though. We were on the air out of New York City. W N E W, New that York, part, yeah. and um, we had a contest to send people to various locations around New York City, uh, places you know, uh, F A O Schwartz, uh, the Hard Rock Cafe, you know, landmarks to have sex in a cab, and there would be a certain point value. Next to a homeless guy for each place Sorry. that they went to, and um, one you of the places. Really fucked it up. One of the you? places was St. Pat's <laughs> Cathedral. The great. And uh, a couple uh, went in there and, and allegedly as witches. Yeah. had sex. Uh, allegedly. And the media picked up on it that and, was oh, crucified. Good night, Irene. It was done. Yeah, we, Fire those idiots. We were on top of the radio world pretty much. And, and then mm, you weren't. We blew it up. Yeah, we, yeah, we blew it all up in one day. So you had to come yeah. to a different coast. Oh, no, no. We're still out of New York. This is, oh, okay. We're yeah. just here for the poker. Yeah, right. Yeah. We're here for the poker, man. Well, Anthony can thought, poker, good luck. Anthony thought, uh, you know, he, he loves poker so much that we had to come to L.A. to, to watch come out here. Watch and... this. Look at this on TV. I was playing well, you're down yesterday. there watching it live, man. I was playing it yesterday. I was. I was in the wow, action. Wow, you weren't, were you? I didn't do very... Actually uh, playing live poker? I was playing <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, watching it. 
I think Lemmy's making fun of me. With your hands and everything? <laughs> With my hands, I was holding the cards. It's about, it's about time someone makes fun of you for this. He's... He's been running around all excited. Look, they they just showed Jesus. He just was staring at his his pile of chips, Anthony. There Fascinating you go. TV. Fascinating. His father, forgive them for they know not what they deal. <laughs> and, uh, they're they're started. Look at that. They're dealing the cards out now. Look at this That's action. So exciting. See, it's uh, <laughs> camera zooming in. I don't know. Zooming in on can, the dealer. I don't wow. know how you can stay up here with boring bastards like me and him, no. and you could be down there watching those. <laughs> Poker stars. Well, watch it. Look, he's looking at his cards. And uh, yes. is he going to bet? Yes, he is. See, yes, he, he is. Look. He's taking chips out and he's betting. One chip. Hot and, dog. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jesus Christ, Maverick was better than this. Maverick, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, it's... At least you used to get... Some people would get shot in Maverick. There's the guy with the hat. Let's that's see. a Jesus yeah. Ferguson. He's just staring at his... Uh, his Jesus dog. Ferguson. Is Jesus Ferguson. He's got his... You're kidding me. He's ready to rock Jesus yeah. Ferguson. That's what they call him. Brilliant. Yeah. He looks like he could be your brother, though. No, he's not. He's my sister. <laughs> he looks the like... long hair. He's got the long yeah, hair. He's got more or less like me, doesn't he, really? Got the hat. The shade. Got the hat. Cut, and, uh, got kind of bedding. I have the gap in the beard. Yeah, you got the gap in the beard. See, he I think he's raising. He's yes, raising. he is. I think he's raising he's right He's got a better hand, you see. That's it. That's what happens. This is very... Or he's bluffing, possibly. Could be. See, Jesus is bluffing. Where have I heard that before? See, we don't know for sure. This is, you know, captivating. Let me, let Believe me, me. Let me tell you what's going to happen, too. We're going to get off the air. Mm -hmm. Anthony's going to run into the other room. I might look in on it. He's not even going to say goodbye to you. I, I know. Yeah. I want to get a picture with Lemmy. He's going to go before the end of the show. He's going to go, hey, smile and go. <laughs> if he could, I'll take a picture with Lemmy. If he could, he of course would. I'll be here. He, he would leave right now. I know. No, I could see it here on the television. They're hovering. That's fine. Trying to get on TV and that behind him. Oh, that's it. I'll be behind him, like, waving. <laughs> the placard. And, <laughs> and Jesus, Hi, Mom and shit. Jesus is now stacking up his chips. Are we supposed oh. to be uh, describing what's going on? Wasn't oh, the that action? The, wasn't that the big no-no? They said, don't describe what's going on. No, I think we can't really describe uh, who's out if someone loses and who's kicked out because they want to save that. But you can describe who's stacking. Huh? We could, d d could describe any stacking if you want. somebody's stacked, you know. We could you describe can... raises, any betting, any folding, anything you want. You folding. Know? You know, if they want to make yeah. this good Plus TV, they... Cards. How about spindling and mutilating? Can Don't you spindle and mutilate the cards. They have to use them. If they want to make this good TV, they should get the dealer, uh, you know, a hotter dealer. Yeah, really. How about a mess. that? They're just there to serve a purpose, deal the cards. Yeah, but it's TV. No, but it could look... Very I mean, there's no law against looking good, too, is there? Right, yeah, not at all. It's TV. No, it's a very true. visual thing. Yeah, it's it? supposed and to and be the, got, the media, isn't it? You know, mm, I mean... They I, got I a, agree. They got a mess of a woman dealing the cards. There's a topless woman dealing, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that would now make the game a little more exciting. I have to agree with you on yeah. that one. and all topless people playing it, too. <laughs> well, I don't know if I want to see these guys talk. No, 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 obviously The women's so Well, you got to have one into the token, you know, they're the baton for the team market, you know. Get the uh, the gay audience, sure, sure. Right, and, and then uh, there's the bestial audience. Have the donkey in there too, you know. Yeah, well, the audience that brought over this pornography hey, for us. Hey, tell me, you know, there ain't no rules, right? Yeah. Well, if you want to capture that. every audience, which is what mm -hmm. TV is trying to do so hard all the time, I don't know why there isn't more bestiality on TV <laughs> since there's all those bastards keep getting caught screwing cows and things. Again, you know. the religion. I think there they you go, on, you see. I think they frown on uh, having sex with Because cows animals. are not Protestants, you see, that's what it is. <laughs> is that what it is? Cows are mostly Catholic. I never knew that one. Have you, ever, you never spoke to one? I've never spoken to a cow. You've had conversations with cows? Yeah, you've heard of Irish butter, haven't you? Uh, no. Catholic, you know. <laughs> what? What is this? <laughs> I have no idea what Lemmy's talking about. Wait, Lemmy, what was that one? Roman Catholic cows. Roman Catholic cows? Yeah, most of them are Catholic. I, I have no idea. You didn't know that? No. <laughs> cows are Catholic. every day, see? <laughs> you certainly do. Thank you for enlightening <laughs> us with that one, Lemmy. Unless they're Calvinists, you know. Is Lemmy drunk? No. <laughs> Please. How you know if I was drunk, I'd fall to the ground. Yeah. Cows give <laughs> milk and meat. How many, how many of these, those can you uh, drink in like? Uh, as, as many as it takes. I, I can, I drink all day. I don't get drunk you anymore. Just pretty much drink all day like I it's, like the uh, flavor, you know. Like it's water, just nothing. Oh, well, no, I hate water. Yeah, water. <laughs> Fish fucking it. <laughs> <laughs> Jack there are Cokes. certain lines. You know, there's a thin line between fishing and just standing on the bank like an asshole. 
That's another sport I don't believe fishing. You know, yeah. And and they uh, show fishing on I, TV. I, they do too. Yeah. Well, show that I wouldn't TV. watch. Leonard. Pictures of the latest fly and shit. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That I wouldn't watch. I've seen the, the the fishing competitions. You know, as you're flipping around the channels, yeah, and yeah. they're out there on the boat. People and lighting they, boats going. Yeah. Oh, that's a really good. You know. And then they show lure, catch man. one. They say, "Oh, that's a big one." Yeah, but we throw it back anyway because we're not cruel. You know? Right. Right. Or no, sometimes they take it, they put it in the boat, and then they got to drive back to some area where they weigh them. And whoever got the most fish uh, wins. And it's like a big thing. They can be a big trophy, big prize money. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Not that I watch it. Don't uh, get me no, wrong. You know, well, that, I watch the poker. I no, don't you watch, watch the fish. Shark you watch fishing, that I can see. Shark fishing. Now, that would be exciting. It's a little more exciting. Because you, yeah. Know? Yeah. you get the chance that the bastard would come on board and gnaw your arm off. You know, that's, that's <laughs> right. a little more. Right, there's a little more. Uh, yeah, the fish has a little more of a shot at it. Mm -hmm. You got a fresh drink that was just handed to you there? No, it's only a fresh half a drink because oh, I had half a drink left. I'm sorry, okay. How about a show where they play poker while they're fishing? Well, if, yes. You know, in between catching the fish, getting a tug, yeah. uh, they could be playing cards. Think you got two audiences there. Yeah, and possibly also doing porn at the same time. Or no, you could sneak in maybe as they're, they're playing, they're, they're dealing, watching. You know, uh, yeah. tug and rub. The various people on their knees in the boat. You know, yeah, like, they're watching that sperm uh, yeah, movie and, and playing cards <laughs> and the rod over their shoulder. Yeah, there you good. go. One rod in front, and one, one in the yeah, back. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Rod, they, rod, rod. I want to yes. ask. Uh, I want to ask Lemmy about aliens. Oh, aliens? Aliens. What do you think? Are they amongst us? I think, you know, most of them shouldn't have left Mexico, really. <laughs> no, not illegals. <laughs> like Peter you, Jennings is doing aliens. a show on well, UFOs tonight, big yeah. uh, TV show. Oh, I'll tell you, uh, if you like. I mean, UFOs. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. I've seen a UFO in 1966. You saw a UFO? with three other people, right? There's no mistake. You, you know, really it, did. It, it wasn't a reflection off the clouds, and it wasn't a flock of bloody seagulls going on for the night. It wasn't any of that. It was a UFO. It came across the horizon like a bad eye hell and stopped dead. And nothing we had then does that. Nothing we got now does that. Did That's you just see light, or was it a, a so shape? Like, it was a pink light, and it stopped dead, and then it pulsed for about ten minutes. We all got out of the car and watched it, and then it went wham over the horizon to the right. And where was this? What state? I was in England. Then. England? 1966. The state of England? Where is that? <laughs> the state of that? England? That's in New Hampshire, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think that's somewhere <laughs> else. There. Wow. So that's... Uh... Yeah, so I never had to worry about it anymore, you know, whether there was or there wasn't, because I saw one, and you I know one. I saw one, mm -hmm. and I don't care what anybody else's opinion is. Four of us saw it independent, you know. Now i got to yeah. ask the obvious question. Were you guys, like, high yeah. or drunk? Before or... I even drank, that was... Wow. So you were an infant at the time of the sighting? <laughs> no, but I wasn't, uh, I wasn't drinking or taking dope, you know, nothing. When did you start drinking? 1968. <laughs> right. I, I saw a UFO and freaked me out. I had to start drinking. I would have started drinking. Two years later. Two years later. I would have started drinking that night. No, Why wait two years great, after man. seeing the, the UFO? That's pretty cool. It's great. Well, Peter Jennings is doing a whole story. special on you. Uh, I mean, it's kind of arrogant yeah. to think that we're the only place that supports life out of all the millions of worlds, right? That's true. But it's kind of defeatist to think that, you know, we're the only ones that can't get off the planet and kind of visit the other ones, you know? Well, we might not be. It's just that the ones that can don't want us to. Yeah. <laughs> kind of creepy if you think about it, though. Yeah. Why? If they're able to come over here and visit us. Oh, they're we're just, well, much, wouldn't you? We're just ants waiting for the magnifying glass. Well, at least they haven't brought us a you know, nuclear war, which is what we'd say to them if we could get off. Well, yeah. But they might laugh at our nukes, there. like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Oh, no doubt. Those earthlings and their nukes. They're Those nukes. <laughs> You know, how quaint. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're... Antiquity. They're just yeah. more, much more... Remember when we were doing that shit? You know? Yeah. Dude, aliens are living amongst us. Are they? Cats. Cats, yeah. I used to call them spies. Yes. Yeah. Spies. I knew it. Spies. I knew I wasn't on the you. only one. There's something going on with cats. Cats are like spies. They just lie there and watch you, you know. Yeah, th I think cats... And you never get a thank you from them. They never lick your fucking hand or jump up at you, do they? Yeah. <laughs> they, do, they do nothing but crap all day. You know, an interesting uh, story. I was reading... Um, and they go, meow. What kind of noise is that anyway? It's got to be code. It's a cat noise, yeah. Yeah. Mm. You hear in 1960, I believe it was, uh, yeah, in the late, late 60s, a uh, UFO actually uh, flew back to base, and one of the aliens got out and saw, said, holy shit, I saw Lemmy from Motorhead. No, <laughs> did you have a cat with him? <laughs> Guys, you'll never guess who I saw tonight. No, we were in England. We saw four guys get out of this vehicle. <laughs> yeah, one of them was Lemmy from Motorhead, I swear to you. No, I wasn't. Then I was learning from the Rockin' Vickers then. Rockin' Vickers? The Reverend Black and the Rockin' Vickers. Was that the name of your band? It was the name of their band. I joined it. Oh, you joined What kind of music were you guys playing back then? Rock and roll, you know. Bill like, Ailey songs. No kidding. 
Like, cover, uh, cover tunes, yeah. What was like a name? Uh, Rocky Moon in the Boogie Woogie Flu. We used to do that. Huey Piano Smith, was it? Wow. What made you go from that to this? Well, this is an extension of that. Yeah. So-called heavy metal is the logical extension of the original rock and roll. You know, what else is? Mm. Right? Yeah, it's kind of an evolution then. Yeah, if, if, there was a, if Eddie Cochran was 16 now, he'd be in a garage playing with a heavy metal band, you know. Right. And the Japanese copy guitar, you know, no doubt. Yeah. What are right? some of the bands you like today? I don't know. I mean, I always the mind goes blank when you ask me that, you know. Well, it's like that, that's that basic. Do you know what I mean? The question. thing closes down. <laughs> know it when you hear it, though. You know. I've seen a few bands around that are really good, but they never get on TV or the radio, you know, anymore, because the radio in this country, unfortunately, seems to be controlled by five guys, right? Mm-hmm. That's and, why satellite and radio's too. taken off. That's right. People I hope so. People have had it. They're fed up. Yeah, because it's always like it's, it's, there's so many advertisements on it for a start. Yeah. It's like cripples the whole. Commercials show. too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> commercial adverts. Yes, I know. We're, uh, we're adverts pretty sick of a of commercial nation. Advertisements and commercials, both of them, too many. Yeah. Yeah, and, we're pretty sick of uh, sick of regular radio. And Believe stuff. Me. And this, you can pretty much talk as freely as you want. Yeah, yeah you could curse. I don't think you you've cursed, cursed yet. Uh, yeah, whatever language you want. What'd you say? Motherfucker. <laughs> that would qualify. That's pretty good. That qualifies. That's one of my on favorite the, ones. On the scale. That's one of my faves. It, That's in the top five, isn't it? Yeah, there's not much you can say after that. Well, uh, there is. Oh, there is. Well, at the C. There's you know. the biggie. That's the atom bomb. We like to call that the atom bomb. We got that word on TV once, though, Lemmy. Really? Yeah. It's usually wow, that's it's progress. Pretty com- it's pretty common. <laughs> Was that any religious picture? <laughs> common in England, though. They use cunt yeah. a lot. Well, they don't use motherfucker because that's an American one. Mm-hmm. And, you know. Stupid America. Yeah. Don't wanna... No, I didn't say that, did I? You I said did. that. Are you got a complex about this? We're pretty stupid over here. He you likes think America. So? I agree with you. He likes I America. like America. I live here 14 you live here. years now. Would you get, did you move here because of taxes? I no. They're pretty bad over there. I moved here because I like America. You like America? Yeah. Really? Even with all its bad side, there's still a great good side to it. I made some of the best friends I ever had here. I just would, I find, I would find that weird to like live in another country like that. Because like I heard an English you haven't tried it yet. I haven't tried you it, but it, it really I would easy. feel very out of place. How long have you been an American? Uh, are you an American citizen? Or? No, I'm still no? British. How long have you lived here in America? Then? Fourteen and a half years. Fourteen and a half years. Like that's a long. He's an American. Mm-hmm. You know, that's like of course you got your English roots, but I I heard an English gentleman doing uh, the traffic report <laughs> on the radio for New York. And it's like, yeah. wow, that's got to be weird. You know, he right. knows all the roads and everything. Well, right. I don't know. He lives there. I, I, yeah, you know. he lives there. But I would think it would, I, I kind of think like going over to England and trying He's to. He's foreign. Like know him out of the, the highways helicopter. and everything. Yeah, get him out of here. He doesn't know. Yeah, he doesn't right. know the Long Island Expressway in New York. Get him out of here. Jesus, I know that. I went to dinner with Dee Snyder. You know, Jesus. Is he? Yeah, yeah. Dealers out there. Yeah. That's a rough road to travel on, though. Yeah. Well, you know, it wasn't that hard. I took the bus. <laughs> <laughs> he likes the makeup, though. He well, does, apparently. He, does, he doesn't do the makeup anymore. Well, not while well, he's eating know. dinner, you know. No, he, he's actually, he's a great His guy. wife had someone. Huh? And, the, and, and the kid. Yeah. But not D himself. Uh. He was playing hard to get, I think, that night. What do your kids do? You said you had two, right? One's a producer and guitar player. The other one, apparently, is a computer programmer, but I never met him because he was adopted when he was born. Oh. Yeah, you know where he is, though? Yeah, because his mother went and found him. Do you care or not? It's not the point of if I care, you know. I mean, I don't want to, he might not even know he's adopted, right? Why am I yeah. going to go screw his life just so I, I can take a look at him? You know, it's not right. Right. Hmm. If he comes and finds me, I'll be only too pleased, you know, but until then, I'm not going to. Does he know it. his father's Lemmy from Motorhead? Apparently not, or he'd probably be out here to find me by now. God, that's got to so. be weird, though, man. There's some kid out there that and, Poor and, and, and his father's yeah. Lemmy from Motorhead, yeah. he has no idea? Well, you know, he's not a kid anymore. He's 38. Right, yeah. <laughs> That's interesting, though. It's pretty cool, though. You know, it's, it's not like, you know, he's probably sitting there thinking, oh, he's probably the garbage man or something, you know. Just don't want to beat him. Right. No, what if, what if he's adopted. What if he's a know. bum or something? And no, then not even knows he's adopted. Really? He doesn't no. even know he's adopted? I don't know. Oh, oh, oh yeah, okay. That'd be okay. Rough. How'd you find out he was a computer? Uh... Um, his mother went and found him, but she didn't oh. let on, you know. Was he happy that his mom went to go uh, find him? Well, she didn't let on. She was his mother. Oh, she, she just, just kind of did a little investigation. Under a pretext, you know, mm. social work. That's kind of dangerous, though. Why? Because you know, she, get, she gets that far, she's probably going to take the next step and, uh, and maybe yeah. meet him or something like that. She didn't, though, as far as I know. 
Interesting little side note on Lemmy. That's Who a knew? very interesting side note. Who knew? This guy is very interesting. We're learning a lot today. <laughs> it's, very educated. it's like college, this show today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just, School of hard knocks. This right. Is, this is, uh, He's got a great philosophy. This is kind of like an Andy Kaufman bit. Cocktails <laughs> with Lemmy. Just sit here. Cocktails, cocktails with Lemmy. With it is cocktails well, with Andy Lemmy. Kaufman once did this thing where he just had breakfast with uh, Freddie Blassie, the old uh, wrestler. Oh, yeah. And they just sat around and just talked about nothing. It's kind of like what we're doing, but it was Hang out, fascinating. Talk. To occasionally people. take a look at the uh, poker the screen. Poker, yeah. Yeah, right. well, Jesus is Well, still I'm not looking at the poker you are. I'm mm. watching. I, I How's Jesus doing? Jesus is he's still uh, staring at his chips. Just looked at his cards. I think he's he, deciding he, whether he should call a bet. How do you know where he's staring with them shades on? He might be making See, that's a that's part of his enigmatic that is, persona. That is part of trying uh, to uh, have the poker face. Yeah, an you know? enigma. You can't see the eyes. Conundrum. Right. <laughs>